So after we've updated the household record, what we want to do is to update the household members. And so the way that we're going to do that is we're going to go out and look at a checkbox as would you like to update the household members. And if it's uh, the condition is yes, just so you see the, the screen here, uh, as long as we're updating we go yes, that's the condition, the checkbox is true, then we're going to go, and this is the, the, real, the real meat of the process, is this get. Okay, so uh, what we're doing, and I'm going to, you know, you can kind of read it here, but what we're doing is we're getting object records from the account contact relationship object. And uh, this is a really, you think of it as a, a kind of a junction object between a, account and contact. And um, what we were looking at here is we're looking at the conditions are when the account ID is equal to, this is the household ID. And then we've also added some conditions around roles because we just really want to see the members of the households we care about. Uh, and there are plenty of other roles that, that are less relevant, but these are the ones we care about. Uh, we're going to get all the records uh, that match. And so what we're really doing here is we're building a table or an array, uh, which really is collecting each line is a matching record. And so we're going to put it into a record collection variable. And a collection is, this is a table again. You can think of it as, as a, you know, with, with each, of the, each of this information in that table. So we're going to pick up the contact ID, the account ID, and the role for that. Uh, and then once that's built, we're going to loop through that table, that list of records that we've grabbed. And so we're going to uh, loop over the record collection variable. And for each iteration, which is an individual household member, we're going to temporarily store uh, the, the, the line item, right, you know, the, from, the, from the loop variable or in a loop variable. And then we're going to make changes uh, kind of to that information. So we're going to go out and get a, a pull. So you'll see how this works. So we're going to use um, this record collection variable, this table, and we're going to go from first item to last item. And as we pull each one, we're going to use it, we're going to use this, uh, this record variable, which is just a loop variable. And that's just uh, so you see that if we go out and we look at it. So we're looking at record collection variable and the loop. Uh, let me just show you how that's going to. So um, no, actually, we're, we're looking at uh, this is the, the other variable, right? So we're going to type here and just type loop. So we got a record collection variable, a record variable here, not a collection, just a single record for the account contact relationship. Okay, so for each item, we're going to do this little loop. And so we're going to, the first step is going to be getting the, uh, the record. And so we're going to get the record, the contact object record, uh, where the ID equals the contact ID. And so within this, uh, and this again, that's that loop variable. And what we're going to do is we're going to only grab the first one because we know there should be only one. And we're going to store that information in a contact includes account ID. And we're going to capture this information. So this is, this is the information that we're going to then be kind of looking at and changing. But you can see it, it's going to be stored in this uh, record, uh, this variable record for each loop. And then the next step that we're going to be doing then is just the display. And so we're going to look at a display. And uh, for this one, we're going through a series of steps. And let me pull it over just so we can make sure that everything's clear. Um, uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to first say uh, we're going to include, so for this, this household, uh, take a look at this information. Okay, and so for... Uh, then we're going to look at this uh, this ID name, and this is the basically the person that we're looking at. You'll see how this shows up. Uh, we're going to then ask for their tax ID, 
we're going to show the display their tax ID. So this is what came from the system. And then what we're able to do is for the tax ID, we've got a default value, which is the current one, meaning that if they don't change it, you'll, you'll and again, you'll see how that looks. Um, and then we're able to do the up birth date. And the same way, we've got a default value of the birth date. Now, email is slightly different because you'll see that this is a, a lightning component within Flow. And so if we click here, we get a, a slightly different view in that what we have is um, the, the value shows up in the stored output values down at the bottom. And this is where you have, we're using a variable called the updated email. So for this household, right, we've got uh, three different folks in it. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go out and we're going to look at this and we're going to say let's update the household information and what you'll see is it brings up this screen which says okay we've got a default tax id we have a default birthday we even have a default email address so we're able to pull that across as well and we can make changes or not depending on how that looks and here's the Here's the fast lookup that showed me kind of what I was able to pull based on that information. Once we've completed the edit, we can then make the assignments, which are relatively straightforward because this is just the updated information uh, that we're pulling in. And we're going into the, the variable record contact includes account IDs. That's the standard one that we've been working with. And so I'm just going to click cancel and then we do the update. Now the update is kind of equally straightforward. Let me show you the whole screen though. Uh, what we're able to do is to basically do for the conditions met and we're looking for the contact includes account, account ID. Uh, we're going to update uh, and this is again for the contact record. We're going to update birth date, email and the financial services tax ID, which is the social security number. And then that allows us to go through the loop and we're looping until the last item. So once the table's complete, then we're able to move on to the next step. Uh, and so we'll do that as the next video. Thanks.